Hi guys, welcome back. You know, I really need to think of like, I don't know, like a handle for this. And I say this all the time, but I still don't know what that is. Like I can't think of one that's not, I can't think of one that's like good, cheeky, fun, funny, maybe slightly inappropriate, all at one time. I don't know, maybe eventually I'll figure it out. Okay, so anyway, this pickle video today brings us new things from far away places, 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 places. I'm kidding. It's not that far away, but it's far away to me because I don't go there. But yeah, okay, so first of all, we're gonna shout out to my coworker, Adam Luth, and his wife, Ashley, because they brought me my pickle surprise, yay! They went up north, close to Lake Erie, and they brought me back pickle chips! <laughs> Yummy! So I figured, you know, there's gonna have to be some branch out. I'm not gonna be able to do pickle candy forever because there's only so much. So, decided we're gonna kinda start to branch out, try some pickle flavored food, see where it takes me, and maybe it'll be a little less anticlimactic. Let's call it that. So, we're gonna have pickle chips today. Yeah! Okay, so I actually Googled this because I didn't know what the hell this was. And he even told me, Adam told me today at work what the hell this was. So it's pronounced Balrikes because I Googled it and I didn't know what was going on. So they're Balrike dill pickle flavored potato chips and it's a limited edition. They're not sold down here, at least in the southern part of Ohio. They're sold up north, away from me. How sad and depressing. So that means it's really sad. If, they, if I end up really liking these, what am I gonna do? So anyway, they're called Balrikes. Um, they'll pick a plate of potato chips. They're $1.39, so that's even better because I love when things are cheap. Um, okay, limited edition. It says, keep eating those chips. Don't mind if I do. Um, original family owned since 1920. That's kind of nice. Takes us to the back of the bag, Vanna White. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to get like pretty ball gown or something. Um, talks about their other products that they sell, like barbecue chips, hot and sassy chips. Sassy. Maybe I'm eating the wrong kind. Maybe I need to be having some hot and sassy potato chips. Let's see. Original salt and vinegar, sweet mesquite, sour cream and onion, sweet potato. And then they also sell other snacks, like party mix and popcorn and pretzels and tortilla chips. Okay. All right. So anyway. Uh, la, 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 la. I hate whenever they give me the serving size. Like, I'm always interested in that. What is it? Put this on hold. Oh, for heaven's sake. Now, now. All right, be right back. I'll see you later then. Okay, so I always think that the serving size is interesting because it's like one of those things where Pringles says it's like 25 chips. And that's kind of comforting because when you read other chips, it says something like six chips equals like 50 calories. And I'm just like, who in their right mind eats six potato chips and then stops? Nobody, let me just answer that quick question for you. No one does that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nobody does that. So this one's kind of nice because it says 20 chips. So yay, I can have 20 chips. <laughs> now that I feel like you could do, you know what I mean? It's like salt and vinegar. You can only have so many and then you probably want to be like, because oh, your stomach starts to hurt. I could do that, I could do that. Um, there is crap ton of salt in this, duh. It's really not that bad in calories, 170 calories for about 20 chips. I could do worse. Okay, so. I'm gonna open up my bag of chips. This immediately brought the dog, are you ready? Are you excited? You wanna try my chippies? He's like, oh yeah, chippies. I'll even let you have the first one. Hold still. I'm gonna give him like a little shard here. Hang on. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this. Give me a second. Give me a second. Technical difficulty. <laughs> you don't want it? Thinking about it. Go eat it. <laughs> I could start a bubby pickle following. My dog ate it. So, I mean, you know, could be worse. Because my dog is a picky eater. He is. He won't eat certain things. If he don't want it, he won't eat it. Okay, so that makes me feel better, knowing that my dog doesn't hate it. So that means I'm likely less to hate it. 
smells like pickles. I feel like that's just like my reoccurring thing. Smells like pickles. I smell like Lay, Lay's potato chips kind of thing, like how Lay's have like that distinctive smell. Except these are not Lay's, obviously, because they're special. Oh, and before I forget, I Googled it because Adam and I were talking about this. They are wavy potato chips, but they're not called wavy in Northern Ohio. They're called Marcelled. Some fancy ass pickle chips with some fancy ass name. I'll take it. So I have, you know, it's about a half bag full, I will say. It's kind of nice. At least there's a lot in there. It smells like salt. It smells like potato chips. I'll take a small chip. I even have a little tea just in case if it tastes weird. So I will say there's a lot of those like little green seasoning pieces on there. I don't know if you can see that or not. So that's kind of cool. You know what I mean? It makes it look like a real chip. At least to me that makes it look like a real chip. So to your good health Facebook. It's definitely more on like the salty stuff with like the side of vinegar, but it's like a good taste. And then the dill kind of like does its thing on your tongue. It like dances seductively mm -hmm. on your tongue after you're done. Nice and crunchy, not soggy. Oh my God, that's a big ass chip. It's almost like the size of my palm. Woo! You know, they're not bad. They're definitely different. Like, they're not as salty as I thought they'd be, which is kind of nice because nothing's worse than, like, a super salty potato chip because I don't eat super salty foods. It gives me those weird, like, I don't know, those, like, blister bumps that you get on your tongue whenever you eat salty stuff. So, yeah, I definitely eat this. Probably going to actually eat the whole bag. No shame my calorie counting today. My calories all messed up anyway. So, that was pretty good. Select potatoes. That's what the first ingredient says. Select potatoes. Not all you potatoes. Only select. Sorry for crunching. Super loud. Vegetable oil. Blah, blah, blah. We know that. Hydrogenated soybean. Palm particularly. Hydrogenated soybean. Safflower, soybean, sunflower oil, and salt. Ooh, okay. Dill pickle seasoning contains... Something I can't pronounce. Sugar, salt, garlic powder, vinegar powder, white distilled vinegar powder, yeast extract, onion powder, something scary, spices, natural flavors, malic acid. What the fuck is that? May contain sunflower oil and silicon dioxide as processing aids. I don't know what that means. All right. So, yeah. So, these are from Tiffin, Ohio. So they're at least, you know, local. Loving that. Shout out to, you know, Ohio Love. And I even have a new Ohio Love shirt, which is so appropriate. Move the hair. Toss, toss. See, we love it. How appropriate. I didn't even plan that. Yeah, that's right. Totally like six steps ahead of my own brain. All right. So, yeah, I mean, this one's going to be kind of short, guys. Sorry that it's like, you know, short, sweet, and to the point. But not everything can be crazy and fun all the time so if anybody else sees anything that's pickle flavor let me know I'm definitely gonna make a run to jungle gyms just to see if I can find some things and a few friends of mine have told me that they have some stuff for me so as soon as I get that stuff it'll probably be after DC is what I'm thinking we'll definitely do some more videos getting my booze collection together to start my pickle vodka so in the meantime continue on my pickle peeps Love you guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a good rest of the week. Bye.